Hi guys. Um, sorry it has been so long since I've posted anything. I actually just had so many issues. I got a new phone and I thought that I would be able to post um, a bit of a vlog or a food haul and vlog my cruise and all this kind of stuff. And then I realized because I've got a Samsung phone but a Mac computer, I couldn't do any of it. So I thought I would just try and do a one take grocery haul video for you. So at least you've got something. And I promise I've got some stuff coming. I do have a cruise vlog coming from our holiday, which was in early April. And um, I'm gonna try and get back into my weekly or fortnightly food vlogs. Oh my gosh, the animals. Anyway, this is, this is what you're gonna get. It's gonna be raw and unedited. And so you're gonna get the real stuff going on. Um, I did a really huge shop this week. I've been doing click and collect from Coles and being a bit lazy because it's been really wet um, and I'm back at work and I just didn't have a lot of time. I now realize my son is playing with matches. Thanks kid. Um, and yeah, anyway, so I just thought I'd show you, I haven't got heaps of meat in this haul, but I do have a lot of other stuff um, and I'll give you the total at the end. Anyway, I bought some vanilla ice cream, I've got visitors tomorrow night, I'm making a chocolate self-sourcing pudding and I've got two packs of tortillas. I'm making chorizo, sweet corn, and sweet potato tacos, which is a HelloFresh recipe, which I really like, with smoky aioli wipes, because I have a baby. Um, they're finally cheap enough again. Some strawberries, they were $3.50 from Coles, and some raspberries, which were $4.50 from Aldi, so not that cheap, but they have been crazy expensive here in Australia, like $5 at least for a punnet of strawberries, and like $7 or $8 for raspberries. Blueberries are just out of control. Um, from Not Quite Right, they were having these packs of mini M&Ms and they were $1.25 each or four for $4. So I bought some of them, a couple for here, and then I'm going to take some to school as prizes for my students. I have some spice chai. I saw it at Aldi. I think it's new. I haven't been to Aldi for so long. Um, and I really enjoy a spice chai. So that's like a little treat for me. Some just strawberry conserve, you know, knockoff jam. A couple of tins of diced tomatoes. I just go through them like crazy. Passata, same deal for my um, for my pastas. Some lady things. Um, some sun-dried tomato pesto for a sun-dried tomato pesto chicken I like to do. Peanut butter. Um, some smoked paprika. That's I use that heaps in lots of stuff that I cooked at Cook. And I'm also going to put that in my aioli to make it smoky. Some basil and some oregano. I don't even know why I bought oregano. I literally have fresh oregano in my garden. Corn and aioli for tomorrow night's dinner. Cream, making steak tonight with a creamy garlic sauce. Some Persian feta, which I'm going to have for breakfast with avocado and eggs. Some sour cream. I just go through that all the time as well. Um, some butter, two promises um, for Emmett and I for just snacks. Cheese slices. I like this on toast with cheese. It's gross. It sounds gross, but it's actually really delicious. Mince to make spaghetti. Pineapple was 99 cents at my local greengrocers, so I got one of them. I've got two chicken Kievs stuffed with ham and cheese for one meal and two garlic schnitzels to have for another. Block, a bit over a kilo of tasty cheese from the local, um, like just deli. It was on special for $7.99 a kilo. I've also got some fresh Italian chorizo for my tacos tomorrow night, two of those. 250 grams of ham. That was great. It was like $7.99 or $8.99 a kilo. Super cheap. And some fresh pecorino as well for spaghetti and other delicious things. I am like in love with this bread at the moment. It's a high fiber, low GI bread from Coles Bakery. Um, low GI harvest grain. It's really delicious for toast and good for toast for sandwich as well. Tissues, cat food, boring. Two full cream milks, two liters because of Emmett and my husband who drinks a lot of coffee. Dried blueberries because they were cheaper than... Um, the fresh ones, I thought I'd use them just a few for snacks for Emmett with yogurt and things like that. Broccoli. Um, I bought some I fill it whole roast. So we're going to have, it's not cheap, but, and it's definitely a treat because I've literally been living off mince and chicken breast and chicken thigh, but I'm going to roast that up tonight for dinner with the creamy garlic sauce, zucchini, cauliflower, a couple of sweet potatoes for dinner tomorrow night for those tacos I was talking about. Four navel oranges, which are amazing at the moment. They're so fresh and delicious. And avocado for breakfasts. I needed washing liquid, speechly sauce. I just use that in a lot of my Asian cooking. Yeah. Both types of flour, because I'm out. Cos lettuce for the tacos tomorrow night. Eggs for just whatever. Um, sandwich bags, dishwasher tablets. I need heaps of this kind of stuff. So that's why I really added up quickly. Cat food, glad wrap, pumpkin, um, some fettuccine. They didn't have any 
spaghetti left at Aldi, so I'll use that to make my bolognese. Some sugarless digestives for myself for a snack. Penne just for spare in case I make mac and cheese or something for the boys. Peanut butter protein oat bars for me for lunches at work. These brown rice cakes for Emmett. He had them while we were shopping and loved them. Um, and these biscuits. And that was mostly from Aldi and Coles in my local deli. Now I've got a huge haul from uh, Not Quite Right. Got some Simply Nut Granola. That was $2.50, I think. It was really cheap. Some Be Natural muesli bars. They were $1.50 for a pack of five, which is really cheap. I also got some of these crunchy Canadian maple syrup, Nature Valleys. They were $2.00. Um, some nut butter peanut chocolate. These looked delicious. Um, they were also like $2, I think. Same with the almond nut butter ones for $2. Nudie coconut yogurt, a dollar for a huge tub. So I got a blueberry and a vanilla for Emmett and myself. And oat clusters. So I figured I'd have breakfast between eggs and stuff. I'd use the coconut yogurt and the oat clusters or granola. And messy monkeys. They're normally $5.50 each for eight bars. And they're tiny little bars. But I got them for $2. So I got two packs of those. And Emmett really likes them. So I might go back and get more. Anyway, this is everything that I got this week. Obviously, some of it's going to last a lot longer than that. Um, and the total came to about $210, $215, just a rough calculation in my head, somewhere in that sort of vicinity. So it wasn't a super cheap shop, but I do feel like I've got a lot of snacky things and a lot of deli things, and I do feel like it'll probably last. And I had to get lots of laundry stuff and obviously kitchen things as well. So yeah, that's pretty much everything. So um, if you like this vlog, even though it's obviously a bit different to normal, please let me know in the comments below because these are way easier for me to do. Oh, and also I got these free containers because I had points with my flybys at Coles. So I don't know, some promotion they're doing at the moment. I would never pay for them ordinarily, but I needed containers and they were free. So why not? Yeah. So if you like this, please subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, like the video, set the bell, all that stuff. And I will be with you guys shortly. Thanks for watching. Bye.